Hi everyone. So today I've got some happy mail and boy do I really need it because I had a really long day at work today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is a box from my good friend Clarissa over at Karamia's Corner. Um, please check her out on YouTube. Now, me and Clarissa have been friends for a very long time, and as she mentioned in one of her videos, we used to work together back in the late 90s. So that's how, um, you know, we both have very similar interests, and um, yeah, we're both into crafting. So anyways, <laughs> I'm just rambling on. Let's go ahead and get started. So let me pull this off here, and I'm going to open it off camera. Um, because it's got my address and everything on the front now. I'm not showing that. I'm actually quite exhausted. Um, I basically had to work today by myself, doing the work of three people instead of one. Answering phones, <sighs> sending out emails, all that jazz. Okay. So, uh, let's open it here gonna put it down oh my gosh she stuffed it just like I stuffed her box so I sent her a box um, last week so please go check out her video I'm gonna see if I can try to link that at the top so the first thing we have here oh wow well, for Valentine's Day I'm definitely gonna use these some stickers from Hobby Lobby oh no Clarissa I have the set <laughs> That's okay. I will um, definitely put one in um, the giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers. But I think I have this. I have to go look. But um, I definitely will use this because um, there is something that I plan on doing with it. Okay. So here is the card that she let her read me. Okay. I'll read you as soon as I can get you off of here. So let's see what she's got in here. If I can get it out of the envelope, it's like stuck. Okay, here we go. So here is the card. Warm wishes. That looks delicious. I love gingerbread men. Let's see. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna put the card aside. Oops, I'll just leave the tape on. All right, so let's see what we have here. Ooh, this is, wow. Actually, I'm gonna put, take the box and put it down so I have more room to show. Ugh. Okay. I'm not kidding when I say I'm tired. I'm really tired. <laughs> I was more busy on Monday, but yet I was fine. I was not even tired. But today, yeah, I don't know. I almost wanted to wait until tomorrow to film this, but I was like, no, I need to film this today. Otherwise, I'll get lazy tomorrow. All right. Wow. So I'll mail you the California special something I'm making this soon next. This is awesome. Look at that. It's an album. Did I send you this? I can't remember if I did. <laughs> but it's really beautiful. I'm, maybe I have something similar. I can't remember. Oh, wow, I love this. I love how you use this fabric on here. The cameras. And then you did the, um, the map. That is so awesome. So, um, it's starting to fall out. <clears throat> so it looks like this is like a, an adventure junk journal, fun cards and envelopes for altering journaling or for collages. Look at that. There's so much here to use. Okay. So we got some napkins and they're like tropical or vacation related. Um, like she said here, these are cards and envelopes. So I like that these say top secret an invited one an invite basically okay 
We've got more envelopes here with surprises. Okay, let's start on this side first. So I have a, ooh, I like this card. I'm not gonna take it out, but you can already see um, through the vellum envelope. It's beautiful. Okay, some old um, National Geographic uh, maps. This one is of Germany. That would be even more funny if it was East and West Germany, right? And then one of Europe. That's cool. Okay, I know I wanna open these, but I'm gonna do that in a bit. Let's look at what else she included. Some stickers, some little memo, um, note sheets. Map of Bellingham. Hmm. More of those envelopes. An extra envelope. Ooh, I like these. So I can definitely use these in my collage book, my Traveler's Notebook insert. So, of course, with the butterflies, anything botanical, I just love. Her thing is woodland creatures. Mine is like botanical. <laughs> um, and mushrooms. I love these. I'm going to use them. Um, okay, let's go ahead and open this. I even like the uh, washi that you used here, Clarissa. So, first thing. Ooh, we got some stamps. Are these from the, your creative studio? I love that with the little, um, the uh, bull clip. I think that's what it's called. A mushroom. And then, what is this? Looks like it's just like a... I don't know, a box. I don't know how to describe it. Um, and then she sent me some stamp stickers that are like, probably like on a, like a vellum of some sort. Um, and then, yeah, these do seem like they're kind of like a, your creative studios style. And then some just extra sheets for collaging. Oops. I've only gotten, I think, one box from your creative studio. I think it's only been one box. I've already thrown them together with the Art Atelier stuff, so it's kind of hard to tell which is which now. Okay, so this is the second envelope. Aw, some Disney cards. Disneyland. Yeah, what is that? Hertz Castle. Awesome. The Ozarks. <laughs> which I live closer to than she does. And then some vintage um, playing cards. I like that. I like the texture of these cards, Clarissa. Are these the ones that were from Savers? I'm pretty sure they are from one of your old hauls. Okay. So then we have a patch here of a camera, which I'll put on my backpack. Um, to travel is to live, which is true. I love to travel. Okay, so we have another map here of this one I definitely want to read. This is The Empire in Crisis, Soldier Emperors. Caesar and Augustus. So this is the Roman, during the Roman times. Okay. Ooh, I've got a pad here of paper, probably from Daiso, yes. So this is so that if you wanted to practice your kanji, look at that. So you have, here's the paper, and then the one underneath is like a pencil board in a sense so that you can keep your, when you're doing your kanji, I think it's from right to left, left to right, I can't remember. You're doing your kanji, you would just, you know, to keep it all evenly spaced. So this would be nice to use. Not that I know how to write in Japanese, but to use um, in a junk journal. Um, yes, Clarissa, I do have this. <laughs> But you know what? I'm not going to say no because I love this and um, I can always keep using it. These are great in the Hobonichi. So we've got some paper here. So these are movie tickets. I like that the colors coordinate with the um, album. Oh, look at that. While you were here, phone message, mefo, me memfo, <laughs> memo, just in case. Yeah, so these are really nice. And I need to learn how to use the sewing machine so I can stitch stuff together. I mean, we have like freaking two sewing machines and <clears throat> I just need to learn how to do it and stop being afraid of the moving needle. So, all right. So that's for this 
<clears throat> notebook, junk journal, however you want to call it. It's beautiful, Clarissa. I love the style that you did here. You definitely should make more of these and um, sell them in your Etsy store because it's a nice, uh, yeah, it's a nice portfolio. Okay, so let's just put that there. Move my phone. Okay, so the next thing she sent me, that's so funny. I sent you scissors and you sent me scissors back. <laughs> But these are really cute. I will definitely give these to um, one of my nieces. Aw, this is the um, Tokidoki magnet sheet. I think they were selling these over, weren't they selling these at Daiso? I know they were selling some um, Tokidoki stuff and I love Tokidoki. That's really cute. I'm gonna put that on my desk. Okay, so let's pull out this one. So it's in a My Melody bag. Oh, that's so cute. Definitely reuse these bags to store stuff too. Okay, so we got some washi. This is from Daiso and it's like Japanese inspired or style. So there we go. Just trying to get it to focus. How cute. I love washi. Oh, I love these ribbons too. I can definitely make something with that and definitely with these flowers. And I like the colors that you chose. <clears throat> so I will make something and use the flowers <clears throat> and send it to you. Okay, she has so much stuff in here. I'm not gonna be able to put it all back together the way that she had packed it. So let's see what we have here. Nope. I think I have, a, I think I know what this is. She mentioned it in the card. So, and it's one of my favorite things. Woohoo! The Kewpie Deep Sesame Dressing. I love Kewpie mayonnaise, and I love their sesame dressing. I was able to buy some from um, Costco when they were selling it. Oh my God. I, um, I bought two and then I had my sister, one of my sisters try it and she was just like, you need to go back and buy me some. So I had to buy her two bottles and I bought myself another two bottles. So I've already gone through, do we have a backup? I think I'm already using the backup and Costco is no longer selling it. So I'm glad to have this as a backup. Thank you. Oh, that tastes so good. And I use it for everything. I don't just use it exclusively for salads. I dip my meat in it, my chicken, my fries, <laughs> my potato chips. Okay. So let's see what this is. I can get it out. Okay. Okay, it's in a box. Starbucks. Uh oh. That's right. I forgot about that. Starbucks is selling the ornaments again. <gasps> Yay! I don't have this. A little espresso mug with California. I love this. It's so pretty. Now, where is my favorite city? Where is anything San Francisco? That's Malibu. It's all, if it's going to be all Southern California, that's just that just sucks. No, it doesn't have it, but still, I don't care. I love this mug. Thank you. It's so pretty and cute. But yeah, that reminds me I need to go to Starbucks and buy the um, ornaments. Because I always get them every year. We have some, oh, some really soft yarn. I love that it's called mole yarn. <laughs> I don't know why. Even though it has a cat on there. But that's super cute. Um, let's see here. Ah! More of my coffee filters. I had her get me last time a coffee drip contraption thingy that Daiso sells. And she did get me a pack of these um, coffee filters. But um, even though there's 90 and I haven't even like used up, I've probably only used up 10 so far. I, I wanted to have a backup because you never know when they're going to stop carrying it, you know. Um, yes, I'm so happy for this. My favorite royal milk tea now um when i was in japan uh like seriously like every day and if we you know 
if I happen to be thirsty and I'm going to go to the vending machine, if they have the milk tea, I was going to, I get it. And then I would go to the combini, buy the milk tea. So I was drinking tons of milk tea. And sadly enough, I forgot to go back to the combini on the day that we were leaving. We had one, we had a Lawson's in the hotel and I meant to like, oh yeah, that's right. I need to go and get it when I was in there, but I had to go upstairs to get more cash. And then I went upstairs and then I got distracted and I forgot. So I never got to buy like a ton of it, but it's a good thing that Daiso does sell them. You get, I'm not sure how many you get in a pack, but this is still good. This will last me a bit. So I'm so glad she was able to get them and they're only a dollar 50, you know? Um, I mean, I can order stuff like that from Amazon, but still. So she says this is for, oh, okay. This is for my nieces. They're cookie stampers. So there is one here with the star, one here. I guess this is like, um, a Christmas ornament. Yeah, I guess that's what, that's what that is. Okay. And then what is this? Double tip markers from Dollar Tree. I don't think I've seen these. Yeah, this will be neat. I have not seen these yet. So I'm going to definitely um, try that. Okay. Oh, this is something I requested from Daiso. So she did send me last time um, a bowl because I asked for the bowl with the lid for miso soup because I love miso soup. And I, you know, um, I got used to it when we were in Japan for having it for breakfast, you know, with my breakfast. So I asked her if she could get me one and I, I guess I didn't realize how small the one was that I'd seen on the website. It's really small, it's fine, but I really wanted a bigger one so I could drink more miso soup. So I had her get me this. So this is a much better size. Thank you, Clarissa, look at that, see? Versus like the other one was, I don't even have anything here as a reference, like a fourth of this size, so. Okay. Ah, a nice ornament. See, it, it says Santa Mail. I'll put this up on our tree. Okay. Maybe it had this in there. There's some tickets or it came out from the, um, I guess the junk journal. So here I have a tassel craft kit. So I can make this tassel. Funny thing is my mom just bought some beach bags that were on clearance at Walmart for a dollar. So I will go ahead and make this and put it on one of those bags for her. So we got a, this is an air freshener from Daiso. This is so cute. I love this. Um, I can't smell it through the packaging. She says it's, well, it says here it's peach. So I'll definitely put that on my car. Aw, these are paper doll albums. That's so cute. We'll definitely open, open these up and see how they look. Okay, so she sent me some of the beads that she got from Hobby Lobby, the Christmas beads. So this is awesome. I'm going to try to figure out, actually I might use this to make some um, key rings. So for Christmas, at least one that I can hang off my purse. So yeah, thank you, Clarissa. All right, so. This one's kind of funny. So she sent me a can of the sardines from Do uh, from Daiso. These are sardines in soybean paste. Now, my mom loves sardines. In the Philippines, they love to eat sardines. So I have a, a quick story. When I stayed in the Philippines for about a year, because I was not accustomed to eating everything with coconut milk, in that's cooked in coconut milk, and that is what they, that's the specialty of the province where my mom is from. Um, my mom is Bicolana. So yeah, they cook everything in coconut and the one thing I hate the most is coconut. So my aunt would cook me a separate meal from what she was cooking for everybody else. And usually I would either have what we call tocino with rice or I would have sardines and tomato, and tomato you know, paste. So I didn't mind it. But after a year of eating it, I was just like, never again. <laughs> I don't want to eat any more sardines. So, but anyway, she sent these and I, you know, I gave it to my mom and she tried it and she loved it. So she asked if Clarissa could send some more. So she sent three tins and actually I will try it to see how it tastes in soybean paste. Maybe it'll taste better than in um, tomato sauce. And I love tomatoes, but you know, no, not if you're having to eat sardines every day. 
So this is from a um, Michael's grab bag um, that she had gotten. I think it was over the summer, right? And this was one of the planners that were that was inside. So it is a huge one. Um, I actually do have the hole punch to make use of this to put in more inserts in it. So we'll see. I might not use it for a planner. I might use it for something else. But I do like these um, indexes. They're marble. I don't know if it's focused. Let's see. There we go. So I'm going to put this aside because it's so big. I still have more here. Oh, okay. Here's the rest of those tickets. So, yeah. I'm going to use these. It's funny. I have a ton of tickets too, but I don't have it in this color. So I will use that. This comes in handy because I can never find the one that I already have an envelope opener. So I need that. Oh my God, you found another one. This is my favorite. This is like a must for me. Um, this is the eyebrow coat because I have no eyebrows. So I have to fill in my eyebrows and I use brow powder instead of a pencil because my, my face is very oily and pencil will just slide right off by like noontime. So I have to use powder and then I use this to seal the powder. So the powder will never come off my face unless I wash it off. Even if I, my face got wet, it's still going to stay on with this coat. So when I was in Japan, I, I bought like six or seven of them. And then um, I had Clarissa and my other friend get me some. And then I ordered some from the Daiso USA website when they had it in stock. I ordered like 10 of them, I think. So I, I'm pretty good in terms of like um, what I have, but I'm always like fearful that they're going to stop selling it, which they have on Daiso USA. Um, and then I'll never be able to get it again. So, okay. So we got a couple more things here. So there is this, what is this? It's a glitter tray and a drying rack. Oh, that's interesting. Although, you know, working with glitter is such a hassle, but still it's a drying rack for just stuff that I could paint and just leave it on here. Yeah. I love this. I'm, I'm going to use that. I do have something in mind. And then the last thing she sent me here, I think, I believe this is also from a savers haul. So she got like a bunch of patches. So she did send me the ones that have like J N P <laughs> J N P. I don't know what, what's with the P <laughs> J N P. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of funny. All right, so this is the Happy Mail haul that Clarissa, aka Karamia's Corner, sent me. And um, now I have the task of having to find places to put this away. <laughs> that's what happens when you get a big Happy Mail box. Then you go like, all right, now where am I gonna put all this stuff? <laughs> but I'm not complaining because I love everything that she sent. All right, so I hope that everyone's having a great week. I hope tomorrow is going to be a better day for me at work. Um, I'm just glad that it's almost the weekend, almost the weekend. And um, I'll see you on the next haul or the next video. All right. Bye.